I filled my uh, wife, my lovely wife, up the potato. I should have double checked her, but somehow she just uh, left it open. So we had all of our Angus move up here. Now these Angus are in partnership. Another guy who does not like dogs on his cattle, but at this point, the storm rolling in. They've moved up into the coastal and they got to get pushed out and I don't uh, really have time to mess with it so we're going to see if we can do it quicker with my dogs and gently. Uh, like I said, any, any, any teeth marks on these cattle will cause a big problem with my partner. So uh, here we go, we got cattle. Start by seeing if we can't get these with the rest of the herd out of the pins. The main reason I use dogs is really to save time. You can coddle cattle all day long, feed them and all that, which is good. We do that too. We're real gentle, we cut kind of getting gentle, but these cattle are just beef cows. Here's where we'll start. Dogs on the foot first. So we got the paddle with us at all times. Okay, Dan, come on, come on. Then we'll keep the tailgate open or I'll keep the paddle out. So let's start by getting them out of the pins. Should be the easy part. Uh, we got one that's not wanting to leave. Should go. Okay. Easy. Oh, she wants to stay. We're not gonna let her stay. Everybody come with the herd. Okay. Good job, Dan. I don't know if we had any stragglers go up here in the yard. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll let's go ahead and get these. Ah, she's going. We're gonna go around. And, uh, here! already taken the dogs. I usually start at the gate that I want the cattle to go through with the dogs and just, I don't know, I don't even know if they're paying attention or not, but I, I tell them, you know, this is the gate we're going through and then when we're all done, when the cattle go through that gate, the dogs, you know, they know they're done. Uh, that's all we really do here is uh, push cattle through gates, and whether it's a pin gate or whatever, that's it. Um, Probably already in trouble. My partner sees this. Most people in Brown and Mills County don't want a dog anywhere near their cattle. So any rough, you know, hog dog type work is highly frowned upon unless you have a wild, you know, wild animal and then you, you can cut loose on them. Uh, but, you know, for beef cattle like this, you can't, can't really get on the ears. You know, Danny will swing from the tail and go with my vehicle. I don't ride a horse, but we'll just let them come. Got one being stubborn here. These, these cattle are not dog broken, so it's going to be a little bit of a fight. Oh, she's kicking. Oh, they're, 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 they're coming together. 
They're moving. We just have one. Easy, easy, easy. Jane. She's going. Y'all just chill out. That's good. Jane, you got a sticker? Oh, a lot of stickers. Sometimes if I'm in heavy stickers, I'll put some boots on the dogs. Let me see that leg. Oh, yeah, right down the pad. Okay, good to go, man. Oh, and there's the, the troublemakers right there that left the gate open. <laughs> okay, so this is looking pretty easy, and my goal is for it to be easy. So I'll just sit back here with the dogs. We got storm rolling in. This couldn't happen <laughs> at a worse time. Uh, I thought maybe the cattle got, sometimes uh, my longhorns will get scared in the storm, and they'll, they'll just bust through a fence or jump a fence. And, and uh, you know, get down to cover, but it's kind of unusual for cattle to move up like this when a storm's rolling in. They usually want to get down in some brush. This was just a matter of wanting to get into this coastal. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, what do you want us to do? Nothing. Just. Well, I'm already. I'm taking a video already. I mean, not much to video now. I think we're, we got it now. I mean, they're they're going. They don't. They've never. I mean, these these cattle haven't been worked with a dog, and they what? these cattle haven't been worked with a dog before. So we had one that was just putting up a big fight and kicking here. So all right, Jane got a drink. Okay, y'all just. Uh, nothing. Just hang back. There's really nothing to do. I mean, they're moving single file right towards the gate. So. What? Monty. Oh, Monty left the gate open. Oh, so it was my partner that left the gate open. All right, go ask Monty what he wants to do. Text him or something, I mean. What? I thought you were gonna text him first. I didn't know he was here. Alright, well, I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, here goes the last one. Uh, I, you know, I shouldn't even pressure this much. I mean, at this point, we're probably under five minutes on the total job. Uh, ended up not being my wife's fault, so I have to apologize to her. It was uh, our farmer over here left the gate open, and he didn't think the cows would make a move. But uh, cows can smell fertilized coastal miles away, and uh, they made a move. So, uh, but anyway, it took about five minutes to remove them from the coastal, get them back to the gate that they came through. Uh, so that's that's kind of what I what I look for. Something real low stress. Picked up the dogs way back there when the when the cattle all. We had some that fought, not really dog broke. We had some put up a fight, um, but. Um, when they stop fighting and the cattle are doing what you want them, I just pull the dogs off. I mean, this is not an entertainment thing. This is a get the job done deal. Good girl, Jane. Good girl, Danny. Good girl.